born in that swirling inferno of radioactive dust. Johnny, the word crisis, a crisis seems to be, seems to be everywhere at the moment. Are we in, is everything in crisis? Crisis, Johnny, crisis. Yeah, crisis. Well, there does seem to be a lot of crises happening at the moment, Johnny. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, there seems to be a bloody crisis. That unless something is done and done quickly, man as the dominant species of life on Earth would be extinct within a year. I'm not sure whether we've got any more crises uh, these days than we had back in the good old days. Uh, there seems to be a bloody uh, a predetermination to call something a crisis just because it's going wrong, but perhaps these things are in crisis. What are a couple of the crises you're thinking about, Johnny? Well, Johnny, we've got the Ukrainian crisis. What caused that? Escalating crisis is raising alarm bells across the globe. Putin has nuclear weapons, enough weapons. Let us start with the definition of crisis. Ukraine currently in an energy crisis? Is Absolutely. that fair to say? The Ukraine crisis, well, it's been brought on by, by decades of, uh, uh, of gutless non-planning by with the so-called United Nations. United Nations, they're fucking useless. Uh, if they'd have been a bit more forthright and open perhaps in decades gone by, uh, it may not have eventuated to this. And uh, it's just a general bloody lack of bloody planning. And Johnny, we've got the hospital and medical crisis. Oh, what caused that one? One of New South Wales' biggest hospitals is allegedly at crisis point. The hospital crisis, Johnny, well, it seems that this particular crisis has been brought on by years of uh, decades of uh, careless planning, uh, not planning in the proper manner, uh, funds wasted, uh, uh, generally, generally. Many, but this year the hours wasted by ambulances waiting outside hospitals and not answering 999 calls has risen exponentially. Generally, uh, not planning because that is 2022 after all, and we've been doing this for a long time now in this sort of modern way. And obviously, things haven't worked out the way that we planned. Just by definition, they haven't bloody worked out. I mean, is society getting any better or what? Or are we just going into fucking crisis? And then we've got the housing prices going through the roof, Johnny. What caused that? What if I told you that the difference between these two futures is one policy choice so simple, so mind-bogglingly easy, it is sheer elegance in its simplicity. It's called... Building more goddamn houses! Across the Western world, house prices and rents are soaring above what is remotely reasonable, caused by a steep drop in house building since the Great Recession. It's been brought about by decades of fucking around and, and lack of planning, uh, lack of foresight and uh, lack of political will. Well, yeah, I suppose. We can pinpoint the root cause of most of society's problems right now down to houses being so expensive. The papers say there's a housing crisis. What does that mean? What's your housing crisis? Rent. The rent. It's just, it's just literally too high. Mm -hmm. And we, we've got really good jobs. You have to get lucky. Rent. The rent. It's the expensive outgoing we have is our rent or our mortgage. But the thing is that our building of houses doesn't keep up with the population that keeps coming in to every bloody country because we need more workers, blah, 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 and we end up with not enough houses. So generally a lack of planning and a, and a lack of political will. Then we've got the bloody climate change crisis, Johnny. What's caused that? Again, that comes down to uh, decades of uh, farting around, uh, lack of planning, a lack of structure, a lack of foresight uh, into seeing where we're actually heading in this particular bloody, this particular sector. And then we've got the bloody educational system failing. The dumb kid syndrome, I call it, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we seem to be turning out kids that are fucking dumber 
than that they would have been if they hadn't gone to school at all. The deep state is dumbing down your children. In fact, American children today are dumber than ever before, and they're getting dumber faster than you can imagine. Well, it's probably a bloody case of decades and decades of uh, government overreach, Johnny. And... If public schools taught individuals how to think, if they promoted intellectual curiosity and produced citizens healthy in body and mind, then few would question their value. But beneath the veneer presented by the bureaucrats that run this institution, a darker reality emerges. I mean, we were turning out kids that could read in 1903. I mean, so, so just a little bit more planning and guts. I mean, we got kids going through I mean, this is 2022. How come we're turning out kids that can't bloody read in 2022? So, Johnny, how can we, how can we, it seems that this particular crisis has been brought on by years of, uh, decades of uh, careless planning, uh, not planning in the proper manner, uh, funds wasted, uh, generally, generally uh, not... Johnny, it seems you're given the same basic reason for every bloody crisis we're in. Much the same reason, Johnny. That's because it is much the same bloody reason. Every bloody crisis you can think of, whether it be food availability or bloody whatever, supply chain and everything, comes down to a lack of foresight and planning. And we're supposed to be the intelligent species here on Earth, Johnny. So are you saying that the whole bloody, this whole bloody crisis thing is just almost through total lack of human planning? Is that what you're trying to say? So Johnny, how can we fix this bloody situation where the world seems to be in crisis over, over everything? How can we fix it? I mean, is society getting any better or what? Or are we just going into fucking crisis? I mean, what's the use of work in the last 150 years, everybody working together to develop a new, a new and vibrant society, if after 150 years we're all in crisis? What's the point? He, I, at first <laughs> I thought he was joking. <clears throat> He's not joking. Well, that's easier said than fucking done, Johnny, I can tell you.